Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the 2023 released start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a scatter plot here, and it shows the scores that students in fifth grade class earn on their test, right? And between their science and their reading. And so there is kind of a relationship here, but you see we've got, we got four that are kind of low here. So we need to find what fraction of the fifth grade students earned a score higher than 80 on both reading and science. All right, since we're having to scroll up and down here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write these four answers. Because if I'm drawing all over this chart and I have to scroll, it's going to look a little bit weird. All right, so let's do this. A is going to be 4 eighteenths. B is 11 eighteenths. C is 7 eighteenths, and then D, 10 eighteenths. All right, now we can just focus here on our scatter plot. Yeah, it was these four that I thought were kind of interesting that kind of didn't really uh, fit the pattern because you can almost kind of see this trend line coming up through here, right? The, be the better you do at reading, the better you should do at science, except for those kiddos. They do okay at science, but not so much at reading. All right. So the question says, what well, fraction of fifth graders students earned a score higher than 80 on both reading and science? Okay. Higher than 80. So let's do this. I'm going to take green here. I'm going to draw a line right there. And I just want to kind of make it dark so we can see it. Okay. There we go. That's my 80 line, at least for reading, right? So this is going to be greater than 80, right? This is less than 80. Now, let's do the same thing here for my science. So I get it nice and dark. All right, so same thing, right? Less than 80, greater than 80. So if we're breaking it up into this, right, really what we're looking at is we are looking at this, and I'll see if I can get some yellow on here. We're looking at this section right here, that very top right section. You see it's greater than 80 on the science right here, and then greater than 80 on the reading. All right, so how many kiddos do we have in there? We've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I've got seven kiddos in there. You see, it does exclude these four that I kind of noticed were an outlier here. These kids that are really good in science but struggle in reading a little bit. I've got four kiddos down there. And let's see, I've got one, two, three, four in this section. Now, I've got this one kid right on the line, so I'm just going to kind of count that kid separately, got exactly an 80. Then I've got my two kiddos right up there. So if I'm going to make this a fraction, right, obviously my numerator needs to be how many kids fit that description, greater than 80 on science, greater than 80 on reading, right? So that's going to be seven. And then everyone says 18. So I'm hoping 18 is seven plus four is 11. Uh, plus 2 is 13, plus 1 is 14, plus 4 is 18. Okay, so that's where they get their 18. They're just counting all the dots, which is what they should do, right? So it is going to be that 7 eighteenths, right? This 11 eighteenths, you see this right here? This 11 eighteenths grabs the kids that are uh, below that 80 on the reading. And yeah, and then if you get this 10 eighteenths, right, it would grab all of these kiddos. So you've got some different options there. But our answer is going to be C, 7 eighteenths.